So here's how you can leverage your operations libraries to make things more efficient. Um, I'm going to use tapping some quarter 20s as an example, but you could apply this to all sorts of toolpaths and everything. So I just created a real simple file here that just has a couple of quarter 20 um, holes in them. I created under my machine group, I did tapped holes and then quarter 20 through. Of course, the idea is you build your own library with all of the common threads that you do. You have an, you know, M8 by 125 or a whatever. You just build those in and do all your toolpaths in advance. And then when you get a new part, you'll be able to leverage them quick. Um, so I'm just going to make a couple of quick toolpaths. I'm going to start with the chamfer drill. I'm going to hold down control to select all of all of these features here. And uh, I've already created the tools. Obviously, you'll have to create your own your own tools or whatever. Uh, spot drill. I just want these things to go down depth, whatever. And then in my linking parameters, I'm going to make sure that automatic linking is turned on just that way. Um, if you haven't played with that in the hole making specifically, that just takes the uh, knowledge of the solid and make sure that you'll never hit the, the tool as you're moving from hole to hole into whatever you select. You might have clamps or whatever in the way, but it'll, it'll keep it clear. Um, other than that, I'm not going to change too much here. I'm going to lower my clearance a little bit. Okay, so super basic. Oops, I should have should have done more clearance, and I should have also did my sorting. So let's just do sorting. I'm going to do all of my sorting in a. We'll just do x plus y plus. There we go. And give myself a little bit. Oops, parameters a little more clearance. All right, so maybe four inches or something. Okay, there we go. That's what I want. My default. This is when I spot. I I want all of the action to be this way. And you'll see why I'm selecting things the way I am in a moment. Now I'm going to go for my drill, uh, and I'm going to select the same geometry. Hold down Control, click them all. Go ahead and sort left to right. And here I've got an, uh, you know, N7 number seven jobber, and that's an imperial for you metric people. You're wondering what the heck I'm talking about. Sorry guys, it's, you know, you'll have to break out the old tomes and translate it. Um, I've got through tool coolant, so I'm just going to dwell, you know, I just want to punch all the way through. Linking parameters, again, I want automatic linking. Uh, same clearance height, whatever, that's fine. Retract, I'm going to tighten that up a little bit, 0.1. Top of stock, I want to start, you know, 50 thou above it. And for my depth, I'm going to turn on tip comp, because no matter what, this is a breakthrough hole. So I always want to break through by 10 thou. Um, you know, you can turn on anything that's important to you here. If you, you want your coolant, you always want to go through tool on whatever the case may be. Set ev absolutely everything that you would ever want to set. Um, and other than that, now I'm going to go for another drill up, I guess, and I'm going to tap these. And maybe I only want to tap these things um, uh, one inch deep, no matter how deep the hole is, because it doesn't make sense to tap a quarter 20 deeper than that, right? So I'm just going to do a right handed tap. Uh, let's go down to linking params again. Everything, of course, is set the same, but this time I'm going to use this calculate depth from the top of hole. So no matter how thick it is, I only want to tap down one inch. Um, you know, I'm going to turn off my tip comp because I don't need that here. Oh, I need to make sure that my cut parameters, I'm sorry, are set to, uh, to tap. Okay, good. All right. Now, of course, this is a sample part, so this does actually go down one inch. But let's see how we leverage this. So I'm just going to save this file. And I've got it saved in my, my downloads. I made an ops library folder. Now, um, let me open up. All right, so you know, I just saved this file here. I'm going to open up another part. So I can open up another part. Here's an example of another part, just a, a little widget. Notice that you've got some different heights and depths and stuff. So I can come over here, and I could right click and choose to import operations. And I save this in my downloads folder. So, you know, I've got downloads ops library. I want to import from part number one, which is where I saved it. Now note, by default, you'll be looking at operations files and literally to make a mastercam file into an operations file, you just literally change this mastercam extension from .mcam to .mcam operations, or you can specifically choose mastercam files here. So I'm going to say, I want to import from part one and I want to import this entire group. So 
not only am I getting all three of these guys, I'm also going to click uh, Import Operation Group right here. Okay, good. Boom. It's three operations imported successfully. Now what I could do is, because I chose the same geometry to drive all of these, I chose that one cylinder, the, the main cylinder of this part. I can come over, hit Geometry, Control click all these. Notice that my sorting is still the same. And of course, all of my tool, everything, my feeds, my speeds, my coolant, my parameters, all that stuff is all set up. But one thing that's really fun is you can actually drag and drop geometry between toolpaths. So I'm going to select all of my toolpaths. I'm going to click up on this group. I'm going to right click and drag that geometry. And I'm going to say replace all selected. So now if I regen all of these operations, let's just walk through them one by one you're going to see that because I did automatic linking, I don't have to be concerned about whether I'm going to a good enough height to clear these things. Because I'm using the chamfer drill, I'm getting the right spot every time. For my drill tool pads, again, all of these are going to be driven right off of the, the length of the hole itself. And then, of course, my tap, I'm going down one inch total from the top of each of these holes. So I will clearly tap through. So there you go. That's how you can leverage an operations library.